Now, in 2002, an Irish property developer, Niall Millen, visited the Imizamoyeta Township in Cape Town, South Africa. Now, after seeing a lack of housing, he decided to do something about it and start an initiative that would tackle the housing shortage in Cape Town. Well, the Nile Millen Township Trust has come a long way and it's even expanding into the Gauteng province. Tom Fitzgerald hits up the initiative and he joins us from my Cape Town studios. Tom, thank you so much for your time. Thanks very much for having me. Sure. Now, you've built 6,000 houses thus far and this year your target's a little bit more ambitious. Tell us a, little, a bit more about this project. Yeah, um, I suppose you briefly described how, how we started up and it started initially in 2002 with, with Nile. Um, and he, he was our first facilitator, community developer, um, and he, he went back home to Ireland and got support together, got 150 of his um, friends um, advertised on the radio, and with a lot of help, he got 150 people out um, the following year in 2003. And over one week, um, they built 25 houses. So that's, that's where we've come from. Um, every year we have a, a, a building blitz um, and we've slowly expanded our operation out here. So, for example, this year our blitz is going to be on in Kailicha in Site C. Um, it's a very ambitious program. We have 2,008 um, volunteers, mainly coming from Ireland, some from the US and, and some from Europe. And over one week we're hoping to build 250 houses. But for the other 51 weeks of the year, we're going to build, hopefully, 6,750 houses. So while the Blitz is the real focus for the one week, we're building all year round. And we're providing employment to approximately 2,000 people, both here in the Western Cape and in Hauteng. Mm -hmm. Now, the project initially started with volunteers, but now you are pushing for corporate involvement in this initiative, what has their response been when you do approach them to, to get involved? Um, it's, it's been fantastic. I mean, what, we're, what we want to do, and we, we've linked our, our targets in here in with the Millennium Development Goals, and we have an initiative that we started last May, and that is to entice as many people over here, individuals, corporates, and, and other groups, um, to get involved through their corporate social investment um, from a corporate perspective, obviously. So I think to date we've had something um, over 700 individuals out here in, in um, Cape Town at the moment uh, have been involved in this. And we had a very successful corporate build um, just last May um, where 100 people from Leenham Shand, um, an engineering company based here, uh, they basically came out to one of our townships for a day. Um, the the organisation, Neenam Shand, um, paid 2,000 rand per person. Each one of those individuals gave, gave up a half day's holiday as well. And they built on, on the township for the day. Um, and we're very grateful to, to Mayor Helen Zilla here. She's been a great supporter of ours. Um, she came out as well to, to just motivate the people at the end of the day and just speak about the the initiative and the importance of getting South African people um, involved in the initiative out here because really what we want to do is okay from a financial perspective it's it's obviously a very lucrative area the whole corporate social investment um, funding there was over I think three billion of a, of a budget there last year but we, what we also want to do is we want to bring people into the townships and we want to, to break down barriers and maybe um, you know ideas that people might have about townships and it's a great opportunity for us. We, we do um, a shack tour. We bring the people around. The beneficiaries, the people who are actually going to be getting the houses at the end of the day, they work alongside the, the volunteers. And we've had nothing but positive uh, reports and responses back from people who get involved. So we're looking now to, to we have an operation up in Hauteng. And uh, on the 9th of August, we're going to have our first build up there. Um, and then followed closely, closely on top of that on the 20th of August, we're going to have a second build. So we're very excited about that. Um, we're, we're aiming to have about 2,000 people in South Africa per year getting involved with us in, in a, a volunteer capacity. Now, a little earlier you mentioned that Helen Zillow is very supportive in the Western Cape. Do you think the Houghton government is going to be as enthused by this project as was the case in the Western Cape? Um, absolutely. To be honest with you, and I, I have to, to acknowledge 
the support as well of the, the provincial government here. Um, Richard Dianti, the MEC for, for um, Housing and Local Government, has um, been nothing but supportive to us. Um, we're going to start a, a timber frame factory out here, a super factory, and actually um, he has committed to funding that to the tune of 50% of the overall funding. So we, what we have re really is a partnership. We have a partnership with the, the Department of, of Housing and Local Government, and we have a, a partnership with the city. And the three of us sit around the table on, on a weekly basis, um, out on site, in exa for example, in Kailicha, and we, we just discuss the problems that we encounter and we try together to, 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 to solve them. Um, we sat also with the Department of Housing up in Hauteng, and they've been marvellous. And they can't wait for us actually to come up and start our, our volunteer initiative as well, because they're very keen to get involved in that. So we've had nothing but support. Um, and we see it as, as a partnership that we, we're working um, and developing over time because our, our, everybody has the, the same goal. It's to address the housing um, issues, the housing crisis, to try and come up with a, a good system of, of trying to get as many houses built, good quality mm -hmm. homes for people in, in, in a short period of time. Right. Tom, all the best for your initiative going forward. Listen, thank you very much and, and thanks for giving the, the Nile Mellon Township Trust the opportunity to, to be on your programme today. We really appreciate that. Right. Thank you. Well, after the break, I'll be chatting to Hilary Erasmus of Building Africa. Two very interesting features in this month's publication. We'll look at how the construction boom in Gauteng is clogging up landfills and also whether gyps and building blocks will take off in South Africa with the same success rate that they have had in Brazil. Stay with us.